it's a time where basic scientists and clinicians need to talk to each other more. And I think this is the journal that, I mean, that's one of our goals, to get them talking to each other, to learn a common language. As a highly selective journal, Cancer Discovery publishes research articles of exceptional significance and broad impact. You'll also find authoritative reviews on rapidly developing aspects of the field and their likely impact on the future of research and treatment. The Views section features commentaries and perspectives written by distinguished researchers. These articles provide context for the content and topics that are being covered. Cancer Discovery also includes highlights of important papers from the current literature in the Research Watch section. Finally, the journal will also report on breaking news, including developments in funding, government and policy, industry, technology, business, and cancer science innovations the world over. We need to have, an, in one place, understanding of what are the new developments in cancer biology, what are the new technology platforms going to be bringing us. We need a place where we have reviews, critical reviews, on um, some of the hot topics. We also need a place for debate. There is a lot of debate. Uh, should we do the clinical trials this way? Should we interpret that the other? So we need a forum where you will have point and counterpoint by well-known scientists that will tackle an issue from multiple viewpoints. So basically, the exciting thing about the cancer discovery is that we'll have all of this. Drs. Lewis Cantley and Jose Baselga, world-renowned leaders in cancer science and medicine, are founding editors-in-chief. They are supported by executive editors Drs. Mark Landis and Judy Kwong. The blending of editorship of working scientists with professional full-time editors ensures fast review times and high-quality content. So this is a very unique uh, aspect of cancer discovery. In a way, we feel strongly that we are bringing the best of both worlds. Uh, there's been classically uh, journals run by societies such as ACR, which have been run by uh, working scientists who've been serving as volunteers, and that adds a lot to the whole process. On the other hand, uh, we have come up to realize, ACR has, that the work of professional editors is important. Uh, people that are experts, uh, many of them good scientists that understand the field and have the time and effort to make sure that the whole process is done well. So we thought, why don't we mix the two best ways to do it, and we basically join forces, and that's the idea. The ACR is the oldest of all the cancer societies, uh, and it's the largest, has more than 32,000 members, and uh, it also covers very broadly all aspects of cancer, prevention, treatment, basic research. So uh, I think it's, you know, the ACR is the perfect organization to, to support this. And that's the reason, uh, at least that I agreed to be an editor. I, I saw that uh, this organization is going to commit to making this the best scientific journal. For AACR-TV, this is Nicola Hill.